guys, Greg here, Bone Tactical. Today I've got something really cool for you, a bunch of gear, and really I have agreed to work with all of my favorite gear companies. It's like Christmas in whatever month it is right now because I don't know when this video is gonna go up, but three giant Pelican cases. One is full of tactical gear, that's what we're doing right now. Another one's full of camping gear and then another one is full of men's accessories. So we got camping gear in another video uh, along with outdoor hunting, stuff like that. Then men's accessories, clothing, stuff like that. Another video. Right now, we're going to talk tactical gear, Pelican case full, and just a bunch of gear. All my favorite companies, and we're going to go through and talk about all of it. Let's, let's just get started. So what we have here is a really cool bag from Falco, okay? And I'm very excited about these because they are designed for concealed carry. <laughs> This is an unboxing video, so I'm not exactly 100% sure how this stuff works. What I'm gonna be doing right now is talking about how it looks, how I think it will function. I can tell a lot about a product by the fit and finish, and I can tell you that this bag is really cool. I already love that it has hook and loop. It has the loop section on the inside, so I can add whatever kind of holster attachment I want. It's got a very simple Velcro holster that's pretty much a universal fit handgun holster. I'll be using this as a crossbody sling style bag and the zippers look pretty good. That's always what I look for in a bag and then the material's pretty heavy duty. Doesn't look, uh, does have the Falco logo on the front but it doesn't look like a gun holster. So I can have this slung right here and I can adjust these zippers on the front here to where they're around this side and I'll definitely get some videos in the future going forward, but I'll have this here in a certain way where I can get this open, uh, you know, rip it open and grab the pistol out of there. So that'll be really cool. I'm very excited about that. This bag looks very cool. It looks very chic. So it's probably not gonna be immediately uh, thought of as having a gun in it. So that's great. I'm very excited about this stuff. Also from Falco, again, links in the description below. We've got a bunch of really cool stuff from Falco. That particular bag, by the way, is the Gunmetal LTG106. So again, link all the stuff in the descriptions below. This is a Glock 17 holster right here. And wow, would you look at that? They did a, they, they didn't even tell me they were gonna do that. This is a Falco holster, but they did a really cool job there engraving Bone Tactical into the holster. Isn't that cool? I really was not expecting that, but hey, that is just too cool. Thank you guys at Falco, really appreciate that. Now, I make Kydex, I do Kydex, so I have a, a pretty good eye for Kydex. They did a good job on this. They definitely used very heavy duty kydex a lot thicker there's like 0 0.6 point 0 0.06 0 0.08 inch and they went with the uh, way went with one of the thicker kydex definitely very strong i like that they have the plastic all over the place this in particular is just a really cool overall holster and just very very excited to be putting this into use so definitely check out falco and they went above and beyond with putting my engraving on there so they can definitely do some cool laser engraving work. And, uh, and that's really great. So we'll continue through the bags talking about uh, this particular bag is Elite Survival Systems. So we've got an Elite Survival Systems bag. So we're gonna have a little competition between Falco and Elite Survival Systems bags. So let's check out, uh, again, all links in description below. The, the competition's gonna be going. So this bag right here, I think is cool because it can be worn on the waistband, but it's definitely a little bit too big in my opinion to be worn on the, on the, on the belt. But it is definitely cool. It looks well made, I like it. I would definitely have to attach some sling to it like this that it comes with. So the only way that I'm gonna be wearing this bag is as like a, a shoulder bag, but I'm gonna be wearing it on my hip. So like slung over the shoulder, probably slung over one shoulder and then on the other hip. And it basically will work as a holster because there's a holster inside universal holster and a mag carrier. So that's pretty cool there as well. Thank you. 
this particular Falco holster, the LTC 910-2021. This is for Glock 19. And this one's also really cool, has the bone tactical laser engraving on there. And I'll give you a quick tip. If you guys are gonna be getting down and dirty, you're gonna want a paddle style separated from the body holster like this, because my Glock in the conditions that I'm in right now, I have it in a Bravo concealment holster and it's right on the side of my body. And if I'm running and gunning and in and, and humidity, my Glock can literally be rusted by the end of the day. So that little bit of off body separation like this Falco holster can offer, but still a sleek design, not gonna be flapping around, very solid. Really like this holster. This is gonna be my new daily use holster because I'm gonna be doing a lot of running and gunning in sweating and working and work going from working in the shop and all that kind of stuff. So this is definitely gonna be my new go-to. Go uh, I'm a new big fan of Falco. So definitely be on the lookout for Falco. And then I'm also gonna really enjoy doing these compare and contrast videos with these bags. Now, this is a bag that I'm very excited about. It's a fanny pack, all right? But a gun fanny pack. So, the gun fanny pack here is, has another universal gun holster. This one looks a little more solid, a little more, maybe they put a little more effort into this one, but I'm very excited about having a fanny pack right here, looking like just a random nerd and then having the ability to have my gun in there. So that is, that's really cool. I really like this bag. And uh, when I think when you get a certain age, you worry more about being effective in what you do. You worry more about being excellent at what you do than you worry about what other people think or how cool you look. So this a fanny pack in general might not be the coolest looking thing, but if this allows me to have quick access to my firearm, that works for me all day long. I can already tell you that just having these here, I might sew a little bigger tab on here or something, pull it down, reach my hand in there and have that pistol, we're good to go. I really, I really am probably gonna be carrying this a lot and just to be able to put my gun on my outside of my body there when I wake up in the morning, if I'm just gonna be working in the shop or something like that, especially if I'm just managing or doing some kind of management work to where I'm gonna be giving orders and not actually getting dirty, then I can have this bag, all right? Thank you, Oscar. This particular Elite uh, Survival Systems Marathon Gun Pack. Now, we talked about running a marathon. It's got the little water bottles on there, and this one I'm gonna be getting out of and, and going on my bicycle with, all right? So I'm very excited about this. I've got my little water bottles. I'll probably have an energy bar, power bar in there, something like that, a little protein bar, and then I've got my pistol in there in the main compartment. How cool is this? It's a moisture wicking, like a neoprene wet soup type material in the front. Then it has a moisture blocking back. So it's not, it's not gonna, if this didn't have this on here, my gun would be getting soaked and rusted. We'd have the same problem. So this looks like a really cool design for you sports people, you people that are gonna be out there running. I don't know, I actually use right now for running. I've been running because I have puppies and my puppies can't, uh, go with me on the on the bike yet because they can't run that far so I, i've been running uh doing like short distance sprints and stuff like that so i can have them exercise with me and not overload their little little bones but um d been doing that and then this particular thing is just going to be great for that what i've been using right now is a bone tactical traveler's money belt and having it under the waistband and then just having a it allows me to carry a normal holster inside the inside my pants and the the bone it's, it's very similar to a bone tactical traveler's money belt but the traveler's money belt is designed to be worn under the clothing and what this bag will do will be allow me to wear over my clothing okay thanks so we'll continue on here and we have falco shoulder sling bag so we're gonna have to see if my glock 19 will actually fit in here but uh it might have to go long ways. Oh, okay, I see what they're doing here. So so basically, I, it looks like you have the option to uh, have the firearm. It has the mag holster here, but it looks like you have the option to have the firearm over here and over here. So kind of like the barrel sticks in here. Magazine, magazine. I can swap this here. Extra magazine here, so it falls open. Mag, 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 three mags, pretty cool. Put this over here a little bit and then my pistol will actually fit right here. So that's cool, That's uh, that'll, that'll work. I'm gonna be running and gunning with all these different bags, guys. 
and showing you guys, you know, which ones work best and everything like that. And I'm really excited about these bags because they allow me to do off body carry, which a lot of people don't recommend off body carry, but a lot of people don't understand the carrying on your person and then use utilizing gray man theory or the real gray man theory. Like I have several videos explaining, it doesn't always allow you to carry a gun. It doesn't, it even less of the time allows, allows you to carry a gun on your person because depending on what you're wearing, you might not have the option to wear a gun because it'll print. And then having a bag like this uh, also allows you to just very quickly take off your gun if you need to go in some place like a bank, for example, in uh, Central or South America. When I go in banks, a lot of times I have to put my gun in a locker at the front or leave it with the guard, government building, stuff like that. And this will just allow me to take the sling bag off and put it right in the locker without anybody seeing what I actually have. So a lot of great advantages to uh, for me personally. And then there's uh, you know just some some cool ideas and tips and tricks there. Thanks, Oscar. That goes with the same thing. So what we're going to be doing here now is talking about Coast. All right, Coast. That was Falco. A link, both links in the description below for the bag companies and holster companies, that was Falco. So we've got Coast now, and I'm very excited about uh, the Coast things as well. Coast to me has always been, I'm just gonna let you know right off the bat, no, I'm not pulling any punches with these companies. So Coast to me has always been really two things. Coast to me has always been number one, it's always been a reliable company. They've always made reliable, well-made stuff. Number two, their lights have always been a little bit underpowered for me. They've been a little bit slightly what we've what I, as a younger man what I considered to be gimmicky, and now that I'm you know 36 years old, I've learned something. Reliability goes a long way. Okay, now these may not be the gray man operations usable things, but a 3,900 lumen rechargeable clamp light allows me to get a lot of work done. Even in a tactical situation, this will allow me to have this in my truck or my vehicle and in a really bad if I get a wreck or something like that and I'm by myself I can I can have this particular light and just clamp it to something and get the job done fix the flat and be a lot safer on the road oh would you look at that NPE ghost knife so I'm gonna open these boxes as well like I said it's unboxed gotta be smarter than the box anyway this is gonna pass this is gonna go right to my workshop and then we'll be getting like i said these these videos are just unboxing and i'll be getting the review style videos in future in the future wow so what did i tell you guys about coast to start off heavy duty well made and uh you know that has just this is just overbuilt and that it that has just become uh to me recently uh, uh just so important Heavy duty and well-built has just become really, as an older man, I, I, reliability is everything. It's just so much, it's probably the most underrated attribute of gear these days. Thank you. So we've got these really glasses that are probably anything but cool. And that's the other thing I said about Coast. They may not have the coolest looking products, or maybe, you know, if you work construction in Florida and your name is Ricky Bobby, then these are the coolest glasses you've ever seen. And then you'll probably already have bought these or you'll be buying them right now. You can always hit up Coast as well for see if they'll give you a discount code through Bone Tactical. The link is in the description below. I'm gonna be linking all this stuff in the description below. But while they may not be the coolest glasses in the world, rechargeable with a cable, glasses with a light on them that allow me to see what I'm doing is pretty cool to me. So, you know, you get, maybe you get dad points for these, but uh, I could tell you that these would come in handy a lot of times. How many times have you guys had somebody have to hold a light for you working on something or couldn't get the job done right because you couldn't have somebody hold the light for you while you were working on it? Well, not anymore, all right? You guys are probably familiar that have ever worked security and you guys know I've done a lot of security work and there has always been this recommendation of carrying a 4D or a 6D mag light, these big mag lights, and they stopped being the best lights a long time ago 
but they were carried because what they could be used for as a baton and because they were legal to be carried as a baton. So they were never necessarily the brightest lights. They were very durable lights, but now we've got LED technology, which, which has pretty much made mag light abs obsolete. And now Coast has made their version of what would be a big D mag light because you get hit with one of these things. Trust me, I've been hit with one and you do not want to get hit with one of these things. It's devastating. This is a really cool rechargeable one. Uh, Coast does a heck of a job with what they, what they do with their lights. I'm gonna probably give this one to my security guy. Maybe the smaller one, I'm not sure. The, this one in particular is 5,300 lumens. So Coast recently has even stepped their game up on being brighter lights than they were because back in the day, they were just very durable lights. They weren't necessarily the brightest lights. But another thing is, is these guys do such a good job that they, they don't lie, okay? A lot of these Chinese companies and these other companies, you'll see me review other lights that, it, you know, I don't have a way to test lumens, but I would say that some of these guys are full of bunk, baloney, okay? Here's another coast light, just very well-built. The resounding theme here is just well-built, giant LED reflectors, just, just good quality gear and, uh, and this is a, a little bit of a smaller version. This is the 3650 lumen. This is the XP18R. And then the other one was the TK, TX22R, the bigger one. So if you guys are looking for those in particular, oh, we've got the Coast Mini light over here. This one is uh, the same as the clamp light I just had, but this is the smaller version. This is the CL20R, 1750 lumen, rechargeable clamp light. And this one's uh, more affordable, more practical for you guys that don't have a big truck or, you know, carrying this, that, or the other. This one is uh, a good bet. And we're going to be using these, like I said, in the workshop. Same thing as the big one, just a smaller version. All right. These, I'm very excited about these clamp lights because we have power outages a lot of times. And uh, these will just allow me to have light when I need it and where I need it and clamp it and reliable as well. So I'll let you know how the batteries work out and hold up and all that kind of stuff under adverse conditions. But uh, let's let's keep moving right along. Um, I'll link where I got all this stuff from in the description below. It's Real Avid is the name of the company. And I haven't been this excited about receiving a gun cleaning kit for a long time. This gun cleaning kit is, uh, is the master cleaning station, Universal Gun. So this will pretty much allow you to clean all guns. It comes with a cleaning pad. It comes with all of the stuff that you need to clean your gun pretty much. All of your wire brushes, all of your uh, ramrods, all of your little picks and tools and you know, hand brushes and brushes that go on, on, the, on the tip of the, of the cleaning rods and just all kinds of cool stuff. Fully loaded out kit, really. It's a, it's a, it's a bit of an old school mix with a, with a modern flair. So I'm gonna try and get this set up somewhere where I can actually have like a gun cleaning station and set this up, which would be really cool. It's gonna have to, you know, we're, as you guys know, we're still working on the workshop and still building. So that's gonna be a little bit into the future to where I actually get that completely set up, but that's gonna be coming very soon. And then Real Avid, I believe is what I said the name of that was. So we've got some other stuff here from Real Avid, which I'll be, showing you they 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 are pretty much uh they're going to be my new one-stop shop if everything works out with them for gun cleaning stuff because now we've got this trimax here trimax clp clp stands for cleans lubricates and protects it's a it's a clp that uh is in a wipe in a, in a wipe so if you guys have seen car cleaning wipes very, this is like a gun cleaning wipe. So it's a cool thing, uh, probably for you guys that like uh, quick and easy or have a nice station there to put a gun, this would be a great thing to have because you just have those there and uh, just pull the wipe. I would say that um, it might not be the, the best budget friendly option, but it for you guys that have the, you know, I would recommend having the gun cleaning station, the CLP wipes, your nitrile gloves, and then just go to town on that kind of stuff would be, it would be really cool. That's the level I'm trying to get to. I'm not, I'm, I'm not quite there yet. I'm still building the area to be able to do all that stuff with. Link in description below. This real avid stuff is probably some, my, uh, like I said, it's gonna be my new, my new go-to. So 
What we've got here is all kinds of different cleaning stuff. We've got a, a CLP. I've got a gun oil. So the CLP can be used obviously to clean, lubricate, and protect. Very nice uh, spray cans. That just from looking at the spray can, uh, that means a lot to me. A very high quality spray can means to me that there's a good chance that the product is also very high quality, uh, very modern and cool. And then we've got the gunk blaster. So when you've got a really, really dirty gun, I would start with the gunk blaster. All right, get that cleaned off. Then using your CLP, okay? And then if you really have something that you're gonna be storing for a long time, or you're worried about rust or something like that, you can follow it up with a gun oil. So that's, uh, that's what we've got here. And uh, some nice gun cleaning supplies. Really excited about getting cleaning some guns with those. The, uh, let's keep going through here. We've got some medical gear, really cool medical gear. So stay tuned for the medical gear. Now we've got some more, some more gun cleaning stuff. So I'm gonna stick with all the gun cleaning stuff. I've got another, this is from Glory Fire, okay? And it is another style of universal kit. And this style of universal kit is basically a style that is more, very much more modern style and a mobile style. So this particular style is, has instead of rods, it does have a couple rods, but it also has like a metal cord, like a boar snake. And then you can pull all of these things through your gun. All right, so this is a bit of a more modern style. I would say overall, this is a more well-rounded kit, okay? And again, links for all of this stuff in the description below. So this definitely is a more well-rounded kit. Just looking here, I can tell you that this, this kit will be a little bit better quality than the other one for overall, just a little bit better. And then it'll, it'll def, what it'll definitely be better for is Mob mobility, okay? So this one will be easier to carry with you. What it doesn't come with is the cleaning cloth. So for those of you guys who have uh, a table, the, the, the cleaning stuff we had here a second ago would probably take the finish right off a nice wood table. So the first cleaning kit I showed you has the advantage of having that drop cloth in there that will not allow anything to pass through, any hazardous chemicals. And so definitely something you need to be very prepared for, especially if you're married and, and you know, you don't want to go cleaning on top of on top of whatever your, you know, your wife's, uh, you know, dining room table. Finally, the mini kit here. This is just like the cheap guy, uh, probably what I consider to be the bottom of the line as far as expense goes. But really everything you need to get off the ground and running and uh, you can clean and maintain a firearm with this for sure. This is the Cedar Mill kit. It, uh, everything, you wanna look for strong connections that they're aluminum or brass. This is aluminum in this case. Brass is a little bit better in my opinion, but this definitely would be a, a, a working, well-made uh, well kit here. It doesn't have much, but what it does have is good solid equipment. So definitely check out Cedar Mill as well. All of this stuff is gonna be again linked in the descriptions. Uh, this is, this. those of you guys that like my knives and stuff, you're gonna like, love this. Most of this stuff so far has been directly from the company. I'm working directly with the company on most of this stuff. But those of you guys that like my tomahawks and knives and stuff, you're gonna love this review. This is this is this going forward, I think, is gonna be a very cool review. It's Acclimate, okay? Combar Pro. Acclimate, all right, Combar Pro. So the Combar Pro has been a very, I guess, uh sought after tool. A lot of people carry this thing in their car and uh, or, you know, it's very expensive, very expensive tool. And it is, uh, you know, it, it has a lot of engineering that's gone into it. And it's 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 got a lot of thought that's gone into it. And we're going to do some definitely do some testing of this alongside of my, you know, tomahawks and knives and 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 do what we can with with really getting a, a good review of this. I'm not even sure how to open it yet because I have had zero experience with this so far. What I will tell you is that the grip is a little strange. It's not a, it's not a comfortable grip. I'm not sure why the grip is the shape that it is, but you know, we'll, we'll get further into that. Of course. Anyway, I'm going to have to play with this later. So, uh, this is just a very, very interesting tool. And I really can't say much about it until we get out and start testing it because, 
Uh, to me, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's something that I really have seen nothing like it before. So I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to get out there and see if it's a good thing or a bad thing that it's incredibly different and unique. So from there, we have a really cool gun tactical training uh, thing here called the Mantis. And I have actually been quite, e quite excited to check this little guy out. And it's supposed to be an excellent piece of training gear and equipment. I'm gonna link this in the description below as well. The Mantis, it links right with your cell phone. It's got a little thing you put on your pistol, on your carry pistol, and then you go right from there and, and you, do, you can do all your target practice and save on ammo. So it's a, this is the X10 shooting performance system. And from everything I've heard, it really helps you know, increase your, your accuracy. And uh, I think as long as you do it, you know, in a safe manner, I think you should really be able to get some benefit from uh, dry fire practice. Now with what Mantis does basically is allows us to be able to do dry fire practice in a way where you can target your, track your, your accuracy uh, and, and everything really uh, about your shooting. So it's just this little thing that you put on the front of your gun here. And then, you know, everything else is, is tracked through your, through your smartphone. So I don't really know exactly what's in this box right here because Kathy does such a great job of actually packing everything that a lot of times, you know, different things get stuck in different areas. And uh, so we can get all this stuff here. And so a lot of times, you know, I, 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 I get surprised with different things in different areas. But this in particular, I am very excited about because I'm gonna start using it right away in my workshop. And this is the master gun vise, multi-axis gun vise. So really, really, really cool. Now, what this can do is not just allow you to lock your gun into it in so many multiple different positions, lower receiver, upper receiver, uh, you know, scoped hunting rifle, AR-15, you know, whatever you wanna stick in there, you can put the barrel assembly or even, you know, a, a buffer tube, anything like that. And really it's uh, just, what's great about it is it has different jaws that can protect, you know, padded jaws, grab something. And then what's amazing is you can spin it around in any direction. So a lot, of, a lot of guys will use this for, you know, it's similar to like a jewelry vice, any kind of fine work. A lot of guys will use this in the knife making community for doing fine handle work or fine detail on knives. So I'm really gonna put this to the test. We're gonna install it in the workshop once we get some tables put in and then just get to work. You know, scope mounting on, on rifles. This is just, if I were to say, you know, one thing that a workshop or a man who had, you know, setting up his garage area would really need, it would be this, this master gun vise from Real Avid. And I just think, I think it's a good price and it seems to be pretty well made, but we're gonna put it to the test. So the principle here is great. It's a great idea. It's a great thing to have. And we're gonna get right into using that. Some of this stuff I'm just gonna be like using right away because I'm, I'll tell you, I've even been needing it. Now, a lot of you guys understand the importance and I've even had some people comment and say to me, hey, you know, you don't do enough on medical gear. Uh, what kind of medical gear do you carry? You don't do enough on, you know, this, that, or the other. Well, this is what I would consider to be my minimum medical kit. This is an absolute essential here, okay guys? So this is from my medic, all right, check them out. I'm gonna link it in the description below, my medic. And I've got a couple different things here from my medic. This is from my medic, all right? And then this is from my medic as well. Now this is, this is a great IFAC kit if you can't afford this, but this is what I would consider to be my minimum. Now I'm gonna keep this in my vehicle at all times. All right, my vehicle stays at my shop. First off, you gotta see these people are taking this seriously because of the case. It's a crazy heavy duty, awesome case. And this medical company is squared away. When we talk medical gear, you guys are gonna have to, you gotta pay to play. This stuff is the real deal. We've got our basically uh, butterfly stitches here. We've got just everything you can imagine. This is the, f the biggest, these are, you know, your uh, temperature ga or gauge, uh, thermometer tweezers, all kinds of stuff. You've got even paracord that can even be used as a tourniquet. Just guys, this kit is complete. You're gonna have to check it out on their website, 
but I love how it's everything's color coordinated. It really just gets no better. This is this is as good as it gets right here. And they I even asked them to throw in a couple extra things that I use all the time in my workshop, which was a uh, super skin in uh, in the bandage pack and then the blister pack. All right, so I I also carry blister stuff on my website. So what I'm gonna want to do is I'm gonna try and check out the difference between these and then the blister things that I that I use every day and and I'll do a little compare and contrast. But this is just a real deal, guys. This is the Mac Daddy of med kits right here. Don't skimp on a med kit. If you've got the money to spend, get the best. And this is highly, highly, highly what I would recommend. This stuff might have an expiration date on it, but it doesn't go bad. So if it's in a case like this, you're pretty much guaranteed to be able to buy one and use it for the foreseeable future as long as you're not like scuba diving with your medical kit, all right? So definitely one of my favorite things that, that I got in this kit. I'm stoked that they sent me one because it's very expensive and it is something that I'm gonna be using and then I'm gonna need more. But uh, I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend if you can afford it and get one of these. Your medical gear is so important. So important also, if so like if I go down in, and I'm working in a foreign country and uh, you know I'm, I'm not able to talk and I have this with me, anybody can understand what this kit is, okay? Anybody, this is an IFAC bleed out kit basically. This is for this, I'm gonna keep this in my truck as well, but in the inside the cabin, attached to the back of the seat. And this is gonna be, you know, for God forbid, for when I get shot, or, or if I am out in the woods and, 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 and bleeding out. So this is basically what I would use for, to stop a serious bleed out. It's got all, it's got scissors to cut the clothing off. It's got every, all of the tools and devices and then, you know, quick clod and tourniquets and uh, just pretty much everything that I would need, you know, definitely check out on their website what, what their modified IFAC is. This is the IFAC, MyFAC Mini Pro. So, so this is kind of a smaller version of a general of a general medical kit, something that can be very handy as well. And then uh, just something that I'd also uh, recommend on a little bit of a smaller version or a lighter scale. That's all of the stuff in the box here. We're gonna have to move on to box number two in a future video. Thanks for watching. Check out the description below for all of the links for all this stuff. Bone out.